I need to get a tin can in which I can hide rags that have existed within my pocket for several days at a time without my wife's knowledge. Something that can serendipitously sit unnoticed in my closet in dark, cool conditions where sunshine or moonlight, AC or heat cannot corrupt the peaceful nature by which I've grown these devices. The labor of love put into them with my thoughts, actions, and bodily fluids which convinced me long ago you and I have something in common. We both are seeking that equatorial truth. I remember I was watching you getting dressed the other day. Couldn't see me, but I know where the holes are. No one else can see them, but I've lived here a long time and you've got to respect that. There are things that I'm perfectly willing to share with you. I'm going to have to earn your trust first, and you're going to have to show me your jars, places that you've been setting them, the truth that you've been growing. I want to compare the results that we've come up with and see where we are located. Logitudal, latitudal, earth globe. Do you know what I'm saying with the string? If we could figure out a location nobody else would know about. Maybe daddy's old globe and that red yarn if we cut it to a secret length that only you and I knew. Measured perhaps. Measuring as boys do and we can hide that string in mama's bible somewhere in Exodus. And then when daddy goes down to the plant, I'll get the globe and you get the string We'll start up at the North Pole and we'll hang it down and we'll see where it reaches. We can draw a line straight across the planet Earth all the way around. Wouldn't that be something? Can you imagine if if we were able to do this, what it would mean for the things that I've told you about in the night sky? That's why I wanted you up on the roof with me last night. I want you to see them too. I want you to join me in this. I know you've been looking in my closet, but I also know you haven't found it. The reason is that I moved it to another place that you don't know about. Only I know about it. It's where I'm going to put all the gold one day. If you don't tell Mama, I'll let you in on a little secret. Do you know how to make the fish talk after they've been cut up? You know their float? bladder we were talking about. I've been eating them. I killed 27 catfish yesterday. I play with the float bladders and then I eat them. That's when I started hearing what they were trying to tell me about daddy. We're going to kill him tomorrow night. I've got a plan that involves a chemical I found down in the basement. I think granddaddy used to kill mice with it. It's a gas. They used to put the mouse under the bucket and they'd soak a rag in this fluid. This fluid creates a gas. If we soak that rag in granddad's fluid and you help me, we could put it on top of Pop's nose and then you hold one side of the pillow and I'll hold the other. And I think we can hold him down together till the liquid turns into a gas so it can get up in his nose. And when it hits his lungs, he'll be dead. We can create a new string then using daddy's measurements. We'll start at the South Pole and we'll use it to draw a line straight around the globe. 
This will be the second equatorial truth. I have a feeling if we keep doing this, if we can get the real truth to somehow come out of all of this, we'll find the location, that place on earth. It'll be like Eve's garden. I want to find it with you. Tonight, come up on the roof. I'm going to have some things from the kitchen up there with me. Do you still have that bag of glass that Debbie gave us? I didn't trust her either. She was odd. Not someone Mama would have normally chosen. I think they work at the pottery store together. Well, it's just one of those women from the pottery class. An airplane. Hell no, the birds are... Fuck, the birds are in on it. We can't trust any reptile or any bird in this. Anything that lays eggs, we can't trust in this. Yeah, they do look similar to the fish bladder. No, but the air is not in them. I've tried. You can't eat them, though. Hey, do you want to watch MASH later? Daddy's got it in DVD.